Uh, I want to ask you about your uh, your stablemate Andre Ward. Yeah. Uh, just had a great fight with Sergey Kovalev. Yeah, well. Doesn't seem to be getting all the credit that that he should be getting because of uh, well. you know like the HBO team thought he won. There was a lot of fan split. What, what, what were your thoughts on that fight? You know what? I think it was a great fight, man. Um, Andre's a friend of mine. He trains with me, and. Um, I thought he won the fight. Honestly, I, I did think that he won the fight. He was a much cleaner fighter. His punches were scoring. Uh, Kovalev maybe threw the more punches and was more pressurizing and pushing him back. But when it comes to scoring the shots that were thrown, I think Andre Ward gets the win there. Now, it just depends on what the judges were watching. Were the judges watching clean punches or were they watching aggression or were they watching, you know, um, where, where, wherever they're watching. But one thing about um, that fight, Andre Ward won it, in my opinion, because he was a cleaner fighter. Every punch scored and meant something. Give us Amir Khan's fight of the year and fighter of the year in 2016. Who do you think uh, gets um, those awards? Fight of the year? Um, I think it has to go for um, Kovalev and uh, Ward fight. Uh, right. Definitely. It was an amazing fight, honestly. It was toe-to-toe -to -toe and it was a brutal fight. You know, it was a tough fight. Um, so yeah, I think that definitely deserves credit. And fighter of the year, um, fighter, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, a lot of people say Lomachenko. Yeah. He, you know, he's been looking really good. You were uh, saying um, Carl Frampton too. He had a big Carl year. Carl Frampton, Quig amazing, and, uh, being from Real Britain Santa as well, yeah. uh, being from Ireland. I mean, what a great fight he yeah. put on against uh, Santa Cruz, where yeah. he was an underdog going into that fight, and boom, he pulls it off. And now having a rematch in the next couple of months. So even him, I think he could be one of the top. Uh, top names who could win that uh, award um, yeah I mean it, I'm not been watching much uh, but I mean in my opinion those, those are the names I uh, definitely want to uh, to ask you 2017 a lot of big fights being kind of announced already which is the one that you're looking forward to the most um, in 2017 um, I'm looking forward to the Joshua and Klitschko fight yeah. because you know that's a good fight you know because oh, yeah. Joshua is a young hungry lion and he wants to fight the guy who's been on top for years and years. Even though, Klitsch, uh, even though um, the guy from U uh, Bolton, um, uh, Fury beat him. I just think still, you know, uh, you have to give credit to um, Klitschko. Klitschko has been on the scene for a long time and been strong and been very powerful and dangerous. So I think it might be too soon for Joshua, but time will tell. This is the good test for Joshua. And if Joshua gets through this fight, then hats off. You know, he's a great fighter. Yeah, no, definitely. And it will be a better fighter, and he'll be known as a great heavyweight. Yeah, probably the, the premier heavyweight uh, in the division for sure right now. Uh, lastly, man, your fans want to know when they're going to see you again. You know, give us any updates. Who are you looking at? When, when can we see yeah. you fight again? I, I had a hand operation, um, so I was out the ring for a couple of couple of months. Uh, also, took the bone from my hip, so I couldn't run. I couldn't, <laughs> I, I couldn't run or I couldn't, I couldn't punch. Yeah. Like I was. From top to bottom, I was uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't do anything, so I end up putting some weight on and stuff. But I'm starting losing that weight now. I'm back in training camp. I want to be back out again in April, fine April, yeah. So don't know who against. Spoke to Al Heyman. He's still my advisor, and he said, look, uh, we just want to get the feel of the hand because I had the hand operation. I want to get the feel of it, make sure it's okay, um, and get your confidence back up again, and take a tune-up fight, and then boom, bang it into a end of the year, maybe a winner of Danny Garcia and Thurman. Yeah, End of no. the year. So It'll be a great matchup. Well, best of luck with the hand, man. Thank you so much for the time, man. Really, really appreciate it. Best of luck.